first and ten Cut. from the 27. Ray of the Jamal Peterson, touchdown! He does the rest. He gets hit at about the five-yard line and says, no, I'm not going down. Young, you can hang on me and everything, but I am going to score this touchdown. Kamal Peterson makes a great play after a Ricky Ray throw. Hey, hey, All 12 of the Eskimos touch. Ray has time. He's going deep. Touchdown, Kamal Peterson. Kamal Peterson. <laughs> Beside us. First play of the game, and Ricky Ray will toss it out to Kamal Peterson. And Peterson makes a miss. He could score. Foot race. Kamal Peterson tripped up, and he's out at the 12. Dweeb Carpenter saves a touchdown. What a start for the green and gold. 64 yards from the 13. And oh! is caught and held by Peterson and rocked by Dwayne Carpenter who's had an impact on this first quarter. Well he, he mentioned it, saved four points Kamal Peterson and him now talking back and forth. Peterson letting them know that he didn't get hurt by it. There he sits back in the zone but he's going to come up on the ball when it's thrown in a hurry. Kamal Peterson runs that little out and here he comes right in the middle of the back. Peterson hangs on can't time that any better, can you? No, you can't. That's the perfect way to play it. Carpenter was the guy who saved a touchdown for Kamal. <laughs> Here's a pass over the middle. Kamal Peterson outside with a nice move. And on second and 20, Peterson gets close to 19 as he left Brandon Browner in his wake. Now this is the difference between this year's Kamal Peterson and past year's Kamal Peterson is Kamal Peterson of old would have made this catch and then would have just as soon as he saw contact would have dove forward to get that first down to be safe. Now he's got the confidence that he won't give up the football makes a nice catch and how about the move on the outside to bounce outside of Brandon Brown or one of the great tacklers in the Calgary set anticipated the snap count was gone. He fooled me too. Ray just gets it away. And Kamal Peterson has another catch. Tossed out by Carpenter. Delivers. Sure does. Hey, you, Ricky Ray was, was getting knocked down through this ball. Cornelius Anthony comes right up the middle. And he has his hands all over Ricky Ray. Somehow he not only gets the ball out of there, but he leads Kamal Peterson so he can catch it in stride. 48 catches on the year for Kamal Peterson, his second 100-yard game. First down, the left-hander looks over the middle. And he's got another completion to the four-yard line. That's Kamal Peterson. The coaching staff of the Edmonton Eskimos were quite impressed with Stefan LaForge in his start versus BC a week ago. He started the game, went 5-for-5 five five out of the gate, was moving the ball very well. This is an excellent throw right over the middle to Kamal Peterson. He has a nice throwing lane created by the offensive line and drops it right in there. And, you know, after he went 5-for-5 five five a week ago, that's when he was knocked out of the game by Otis Floyd. To the point where he didn't return the Mario. Fours looks over the middle, and Kamal Peterson has another catch in front of Lance Frazier. Well, we'll go back to that interception by Chris Thompson in a second, but this Kamal Peterson catch is worth another peak. Kamal Peterson inching closer all the time to that 1,000-yard season that has eluded him throughout his career, and a couple of the 
real comeback players that we've talked about. Pressure. And it's a completion to Peterson. And he is tripped up by TJ Stansel, but a first down to the Rough Rider 40 for Kamal Peterson closing in on a personal best season and the 1,000 yards. Last year, Kamal Peterson had 566, 567 yards and one touchdown. And you consider his numbers this year, he comes across on that crossing route. That's just a huge... First down and open is Kamal Peterson with some running room. Peterson inside the 25 and dropped at the 22-yard line by T.J. Stansel. 33 for Kamal. Short drop in time. LaFleur's end zone touchdown. It is the Kamal Peterson drive. His seventh of the year. He had three, four catches on that drive. A couple in traffic. Picks up the big game two plays ago and then finishes it, having to take the hit, survive contact, and come up with the football. That was Sean Lucas. Put a pretty nice hit on him, but Lucas comes up with a touchdown. But just because you're the guy that's supposed to create the rub for another player doesn't mean that you're out of the play. Stephon LaFors finds Kamal Peterson. LaFors charged up. Peterson, the touchdown catch, and Hamilton blitz him. And I know Kamal Peterson feels good about that. The fact that Ricky Ray goes this. He says, I'm going to make the most of this play. He turns on the speed. To go from the seven. Back to pass. The end zone. Touchdown. Kamal Peterson. Wide open. This Kamal Peterson enjoying his best season since 2002 in Calgary when he had six. This play by Juwan Armour. Really kept that drive going, and then you see Kamal. Six receiver set on first down. Ray in the pocket across midfield. Here's Kamal Peterson with a big catch and a straight arm and a first down. Across the middle, it's complete to Kamal Peterson, and Peterson will have more yards after the catch after the 48-yard line. Well, right. night, yeah, that's a nice recognizing the defense. See how he comes in here, takes a move, and comes to the inside. Finds the opening ball, beautifully delivered, exactly what it has to be to a running Kamal Peterson. He doesn't have to stretch the ball in the draft. Ray firing. Peterson has the catch. Sean Lucas, the tackle. And been on fire with that crossing route. Doubled by Cates tonight. Wide open on the crossing route is Kamal Peterson again. And look at the yards after the catch. And Kamal Peterson has been wide open every time. Tucker's hurt. Tucker 81 yards already. Here's Kamal Peterson. Two possessions, two majors for the Edmonton Eskimos. Crossing pattern from Kamal Peterson. We match way across the formation. Remember, Ed Jam all back at home. Matthew Crew. Kamal Peterson comes all the way across his face side of the field and takes it in for the end zone. Matt Dunnigan talked about him in the pregame show, his fifth. Here we go! That's what I'm talking about! That's how you start, huh? That's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's put him down! Let's put him down! They don't want to play! I'm telling you they don't want to play! Well, it was good. Well, the Eskimos have done most of the talking tonight. 